from the team you can trust. This is News 8 at 11. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, a grieving family tells News 8 their mother was terrified of the man who's accused of killing her. Police say Emerson Tohofjin shot three people Tuesday night in Waterloo, killing two of them. We've learned one of the victims was this woman, Lori McConnell. Her family says Tohofjin was violent and McConnell had been his victim more than once. Ashley Edlund is live now outside of Strong Memorial Hospital with the very latest. Ashley. Well, Adam, police say Tohofjin was taken here to Strong Memorial for his injuries. He has not been arraigned yet, nor have his victims been identified by police. But we spoke to one family tonight who says he murdered their mother and they want her story told. Evil. <laughs> He's mean, vindictive. Laura Bennett has little else to say about the man now accused of killing her mother. Bennett says Emerson John Tohofjian is no stranger. He and Lori McConnell had been dating since 2015. But says Tohofjian was violent and Lori had been trying to get away for the last month and a half. She was afraid that he was going to kill her. Bennett says just weeks before the murder, Tohofjian had broken into Lori's home. Out of fear, she says she left in a car with him. He drove down a bunch of back roads saying that he's going to kill her, start choking her. Police confirmed Tohofjian was arrested twice in June for incidents of domestic violence including rape. He made bail both times. The Seneca County District Attorney's Office says they requested a bench warrant and a higher bail, but the judge denied it. What's more, Bennett says her mom's request for an order of protection was denied. I don't only speak for myself, but my whole family, we, we do blame both judges. Bennett says she's now on a mission. One week before her mom was murdered, she made a chilling request. She wanted me to reach out to anybody and everybody to let everybody know her story because she was afraid that he was going to kill her. Again, police have not identified Lori as the deceased in this case, nor have they identified the other two victims. Adam. All right, Ashley, thank you. Police are now saying Tohofjin had an extensive criminal past. Records show he was arrested on June 3rd for assaulting his axe, Lori McConnell. After posting his $500 bail, Tohofjin was back out, but with an order of protection issued against him, ordering him to stay away from the now deceased McConnell. Police say that piece of paper did not stop him, and on June 19th, he was arrested yet again, this time for rape, a Class B felony, and released on $10,000 bail. The law does not require someone charged with rape to be held in jail. Victims' advocates would like to see that changed. I would have liked him to be held. He should have been held. Multiple strikes, serious crimes, felony-level crimes, and to be released on $10,000 bail is ridiculous. Ridiculous. And it created a public safety hazard. In New York State, some laws around domestic violence have been strengthened, but advocates say there's still a long ways to go when it comes to harsher penalties for abusers and more for protecting the victims. Now, the investigation into the Waterloo murders is not over. State police are turning to homes and businesses in the village of Waterloo to help. They're looking for any surveillance footage from Tuesday night between the hours of 1030 and midnight. If you have any, call state police at 315-539-3530. Guilty verdicts tonight in the bu